Hello everyone and welcome to my video NASA's Grail Secrets from the Far Side. And Saturday the 4th of February 2012 I received an email from a friend and he told me that NASA uploaded a new video which uh, contained images or better video from the far side of the moon in high definition. And this video was made by two satellites that ro were rotating around the moon, the Grail satellites, App and Flow. And uh, for the first time, we could see the far side of the moon in full detail. So, of course, I was really excited, as for the first time I would be able to see it in high-definition video. I uh, went to the video site, and uh, I downloaded the best available high-definition uh, version they offered. And that was a uh, QuickTime file, an MOV. And this is the site. I found it on the Jet Propulsion Laboratory site, the GPL site. And as you can see, you have uh, different uh, versions in quality, and I downloaded the best available version. Okay. And while I watched this uh, 57 seconds of video, and uh, near the end, I noticed a very strange speck, a little dot inside the Zeeman crater. So what I did is uh, I, take, I took a... Uh, a frame capture, a still frame, from the crater, from this uh, crater, and uh, I noticed that it had bright and dark parts, and there were also shadows. So what was I looking at? I uh, had to see the uh, video several times before I really could uh, identify that the speck was really there. Before, first I thought it was an anomaly or a digital uh, problem of the video, and it was a speck or a uh, part in uh, the crater I've never, I've never seen before on any photo. So, of course, I was curious and I made a video frame capture using QESR, which creates super resolution images. And uh, this is what the video is about. And this is near the end of the video with this Q, a QESR program. And here you can see the crater just disappearing into the dark. So I increase brightness. And then you can also already see near the crater edge, northern rim, a speck. And now we do something with the contrast. And then we can already see the speck appearing, which looks like to be a little triangle. So let's go further. When we look at the um, Map of Planet Explorer website, and we look at the images that Clementine produced, then we see that there's nothing triangle shape in that crater part. And when we look at the lunar orbiter mosaic, uh, it's, uh, now it's in the dark, but when we increase brightness, and uh, we do an overlay with the uh, Clementine images, then we see that there's nothing inside the crater. At least nothing that could create a triangle shape shadow. Okay. Now, this is the object I found. And as you can see, it's triangle shape. Two smaller objects are floating above, uh, near the crater rim. And now we will do some enhancements. Yeah, something creates these shadows, right? Here you will see a triangle shadow underneath the object. And this object, by the way, is several miles high. And it's about uh, 15 miles long. Because that's just the size we're talking about. Here we see the triangle shape shadow. And we see these uh, two small objects floating above. Okay, now we're going to play a bit with the light and do something about the sharpness. Here we go. And now we clearly see a triangle shadow, uh, shaped shadow. See, right in the middle now. And the object obviously looks like a uh, triangle. At uh, first I thought it was a, a digital anomaly and that it had something to do with compression, but it has not it has nothing to do with compression. As you can see there's a clear triangle shaped shadow underneath the object. And here's the enlargement. And you see that it is triangle shaped. See? Even better now. And the uh, object floating above this uh, main object is full in the light, in the sunlight. So it means that it is higher than its surroundings, than the crater rim. 
and the crater rim is about seven miles high so just imagine how high it's flying above the moon's surface and this triangle is, appears to be hovering overhead the moon's surface because the, look how, how far the, uh, this uh, shadow is underneath the object so on the 9th of April while I visited this Grail website for, uh, <laughs> for, for, for the second time and uh, I went there to see, to see if nothing had changed I noticed that there was uh, something different because the high resolution photo NASA uploaded no longer showed this uh, triangle shaped object and the video no longer shows the object so instead the, uh, the Zeeman crater had been made fuzzy or better the triangle shaped uh, object has been made invisible now what is the Grail mission hiding because uh, when we compare these two pictures, the NASA picture and my digital frame, we see that there's a difference. This is the Grill website. This is where you can download it. This is where you can download the image. And here is the picture I downloaded from NASA. And we see again the crater. And we see something fuzzy next to the crater. So on the left. See, this is the, uh, the new version. Okay, and when we do something about the contrast, we see this. It doesn't look any more like a triangle shaped object. The uh, triangle shaped shadow also, also has disappeared. The floating objects above our uh, have gone. So, this is the uh, still frame. and this is the comparison between the two on the left my still frame capture from the video the first video and the second one is from April see the high res frame capture from the video and a NASA downloadable high res JPEG file well I hope you enjoyed the video it's still a mystery to me what we, that is we're looking at but um, it's something I uh, uh, wanted to show you Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.